Hello everyone, this is Dunter Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Marvel Legends Black Widow uh, figure here. So here's the box for you. You get that Black Widow sign there with the Black Widow spider. Uh, gray box here. It's cool. You get, on the top you get the Black Widow logo furnished on top. That's cool. Here's the side art of Black Widow here. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. Same box art there. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI. Besides that, let's crack her open. And here she is out of packaging here. So she, she has a bunch of accessories here. Let's go over there, those first. So first, let's go over the gauntlets. So for these, these gauntlets we've seen before, except they added this like little smoky effect here after she shoots something out of them, like a bullet or something like that. I like the gold that they use for them. So that's cool. You get two of these. Uh, and then we get these other gauntlets here, which have that blast effect going on there. Same gauntlet mold, except for they added this little blast effect here. Translucent orange plastic, so that's cool. I like that a lot. Uh, and then you get two blasting effects. I believe these are for the jetpacks. Yeah, they do. I'll go over the jetpack here in a little bit. But yeah, this is for the jetpacks. So yeah, you get that translucent orange plastic here. So that's cool. And you get two of these like open hands, relaxed hands or whatever you want to call these. We've seen these hands with Invisible Woman and a few other uh, characters. Um, but this is repainted to gray. So that's cool. And then we get this jetpack here. So I like this one. I like this jetpack a lot. Uh, it has the shield logo here. It's gold. Uh, you get a little bit of marbling here, but it's not that big of a deal. But you get some of the gunmetal gray here throughout the jetpack. And you get these uh, black straps here for the shoulder to put on top. Uh, put on her like a backpack. So yeah. So that's really cool. I like it a lot. And then it has ports at the bottom of them where you just plug it in. Plug in the little blast effects here, just like that. Whoops, I almost messed up there. Yeah, just plug those in like that. And then boom, you get that little jetpack. So that's cool. Um, but those that's all we got for accessories. So let's go over the figure itself. So here you got Black with his face. You get the green eyes here. You get that little hair popping out here in the middle of the face. Yeah, curly red hair here, short. Um, they added some maroon red uh, to give it depth, which I like a lot. You get that little sh eye shadow here. Uh, you get the red lipstick here. So I like this head sculpt a lot. And then you get this like little jacket for her, which I like a lot. You get that nice big collars here. You get that Avengers logo. Here with some red and black here on the shoulders so I like that a lot and these are separate pieces um, and then throughout the rest of the figure is all gray so that's cool and then you get this little utility belt fur which I like a lot it's yellow you get that little black widow there and then on the back here you kind of see but you get that little spider on the back here so that's cool uh, and then you get these gauntlets that don't have any effects on them. There's regular gauntlets and you get two fisted hands. So if you want to, you can switch out hands. Um, but besides that, that's all we got for the looks. So let's go over our articulation here. So her head can hinge down that far, up that far. She can look left and right. A uh, little bit of head pitting here. Her arms can, her shoulders can move out that far. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder. Uh, she has single jointed elbows to about 90 degrees, 360 rotation around there. Her wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. If I can do that, there we go. All right, she has a diaphragm joint on the top of the torso here, so she can look go forward just barely any, backwards quite a bit. Uh, you get her to go 360 rotation around there. You get her to go side to side motion here, so that's cool. Her legs could kick out just that far forward quite a bit. Backwards, like barely any. Uh, she has a thigh cut here, 
she has double jointed knees so that's good her ankles can hinge down that far up that far nice ankle pivot for the jet pack i think this one's gonna be a tough one to get on so i think what i'm gonna do here is get her shoulder scale out that far bend in the elbows just a little bit and i don't know if there's any like actually i wonder can you pop out no yeah you just gotta try to slide them in i guess so that's a little bit of a tough one so yeah i'm just gonna try doing this hope i can get ah get in there there we go i wonder if it'll do better if i just took out the hands maybe yeah maybe i'll just pop off the hands here maybe that'll help take out the gum let's all right let's see if that helps a little bit maybe I wish they had the I wish they had a better uh way of doing this <laughs> it's a tough tough one maybe this way first okay we got that now we just gotta try to get the other strap across the other oh yeah I don't like that Yep, that's not happening. Okay, maybe. There we go. Kind of got it. Wish I had the, wish they had like those little pegs for them to pop out, like the straps. Almost got it. All right, the strap there is a little messed up, but. It's okay. Let's see if I can fix that. I don't like how that's looking. All right. Hey, eh, just a little bit of problem, but. All right, there we go. I kind of got that on her. So I think this is a pretty cool figure. I like the, all the um, accessories that they brought with her. Um, I like the jetpack a lot. The only problem that I wish they had to, that they could do with the jetpack is probably make the straps pop out like put a peg in the top here and just pop it out so that way you could put it on easier but eh, you could probably manage to do it but it's extremely hard to do it i'm kind of afraid to do take it off or put it back on her just because i don't want it to break so um but besides that i like all the accessories i like the look of the figure um and yeah that's all i've got